everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I'm so happy that you are joining me. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Anya. I'm an energy channeler. And basically, my job is to um, interpret the messages that I'm receiving from Spirit and deliver those messages onto you. So I'm hoping you're having a wonderful day. And if not, then I'm sending you healing vibes. Um, somebody really, really, really needs to take a rest. Okay. Now, I also feel somebody needs to hear that there's no, there's no service made to you. If you're holding on to resentment, to regret, to anger. Okay. The person who has done you wrong will receive their punishment, will receive their karma. Okay. And the thing is, you shouldn't be the one delivering this karma to that person. Because most of the time, you cannot see the whole picture. You do not, may not understand why things have happened or why this person behaved a certain way. Okay. But remember, the best that you can do right now is to start working on yourself. Yes, you might be angry. Yes, you might be upset. Okay. So what you can do, start focusing on yourself. Start doing the things that are making you happy. Okay, because this is the first step in order for a change in energy to happen in your life. Okay, for things starting to change for the positive. Okay, you need to focus on the things that are making you happy, that are making you feel positive. Okay, because again, like attracts like, right? So you cannot be positive and remain in a negative state of mind that's just not possible okay so my advice to you would be start doing the things that are making you happy okay start smiling even though it might be difficult even though it's counter intuitive to what you have been through even though you might say oh how 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 can i do it do it in small steps do it step by step, okay? And the more positive with you you will start to bring into your life, the more positive you will start to feel and the more positive things will start occurring and happening in your life. That person who has done you bad, the situation that has left you out in the cold, so to speak, will be taken care of by spirit, okay? And let me tell you, the person who has done you dirty probably is not even thinking about you. They probably don't even care. So do yourself a favor and start doing the things that are making you happy. Start focusing on yourself. All right. So this was just a small message for whoever needed to hear it. Everybody. So um, what I heard from Spirit for your reading... somebody is about to take a chance somebody's about to take a risk why well because they want to change in, in their life this can be you this can be another individual in your energy but the bottom line is they are not happy with where things are with how things have been going where they are in their life and it's like so many things have happened, so much time has passed that now they're ready to take the risk, even though there's fear associated with this risk, even though there's a devil lurking, you know, um, and the energy, I feel it's like they're pushed, they, they have been pushed to their limits and they're ready to take on this risk and face the fear of the unknown 
in order to bring, I'm hearing from spirit, in order to bring the change that they want to see happen. All right. So let's see. Let's see what we can find out for you. Okay. So today what you guys are looking at is, is a Witches Chambers board reading. I have created it <laughs> many months ago. This is a prototype. This is not the final product. And I'm hearing um, Spirit saying this is only a prototype. This is not a a final final product. So I feel like somebody somebody in your energy or you has have a prototype, has have an idea of how things will go. But it's like there's the final product is yet to be made. Final step is yet to be taken. I'm hearing, okay. So I feel this person or you has a prototype, has an image of how things might go. But it's like the final product is yet to be created. All right. And this is what I feel this person or you is willing to do. Okay. Is willing to take a risk in order to, to, um, to create, to have the final product made. Okay, so everybody, this is a witch's chamber board reading. Um, somebody may take a gamble, you might be risking some money, there might be some money involved for some of you. Well, I'm so hearing from spirit a risk on their life. It's like I feel like whoever this person is, for some of you. It's like they understand or they have a prototype. They have some sort of a knowledge that their life will change completely once they take this risk. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what's happening for you guys. Whoa. I heard somebody saying, drop it, sister. <laughs> so. Wow. You might be a water sign. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of emotions. Okay. And yes, like I was saying, progress is going to be made. Why do I say that? Look, we see three blue dices. Okay. Two, three, four. Okay. Okay. There's a progress being made or about to be made. Somebody is deciding to end a cycle. And I feel like it's a conscious decision. I feel somebody is about to take a risk pertaining to our relationship. Preparing to some sort of a partnership. Okay. They have been in their thoughts all this time but it's like they're ready and they're stepping forward okay what's really interesting is look how many stones have fell on the masculine energy I feel like this person has or you has gained some sort of a clarity. We have three stones that literally fell almost one on top of the other in the masculine square, okay? So I feel for a lot of you guys, this is a masculine energy who is about to take a risk, who's about to take a chance. There's something in their life that has ended. And I'm hearing from spirit, this person is ending being stuck in their thoughts. I feel like this person is also a little bit obsessed. I'm not going to lie. It's like, I need to do it. And I feel this is something that is actually driving this person to move forward. Okay. Okay. 
I feel like in the past, this person has not been giving too much love. Okay. Has not been given too much love and has not been giving too much love. Okay. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. But this person wants to bring communication and clarity. Okay. It's really interesting. We have one charm on your board and it's a mermaid. You might be relating to mermaids in some sort of a way. But this person sees you as a mermaid, as someone out of this world, okay? This is like, I feel like up until now, this person has been living, quote unquote, in a fantasy land, okay? You're about to reap your rewards, okay? Whatever the thing is, change is coming to your life, okay? And I feel like this change is coming because you are making a conscious choice to face your fears and to go after what it is that you want, okay? That's what I feel is happening here. There's a major completion and a major brand new beginning coming, okay? Number six, number two, number four, number three may be of significance. But again, there's progress. Think six, two, that's eight. Four, three, and two, that's nine. Again, there's a double confirmation of progress. Okay, of change of movement forward. Expect to receive communication, a clear communication. Okay, about something, there's something that's going to come to light, something that you currently have no idea about. Okay, and as, as I'm saying it, I was actually, um, my health fell. Okay, so there's something that is falling on you. Okay. Or from you, I'm hearing as well. Okay. Number four. Number four, four, four may be of significance to you. Okay. For someone here, you need to say face the third party, or it's like you will be facing the third party. And I'm hearing if this mess if this particular message relates to you, I feel like you are about to take a leap of faith. Take a risk to end the third party. Okay. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. It's like you have made a decision to face this third party. This can be a personal thing. Okay. What I feel. Um, what you're about to do is face the third party. You're about to take a risk to end. Because you're not happy with the third party, let's be honest. It's too too many things, right? It's the third wheel, something that does not belong, you know. And I feel like you're sick and tired. Even though I feel like you're afraid what the future might bring. How your life is going to look like. But I feel like you're going to do it anyways. Because like I said at the beginning of your reading, I feel like so many time has passed. So much time has passed and so many emotions, you know, have been stirring inside of you that you going to say enough. This is not the type of life that I want to live. Okay. 
this is not what I'm willing to be putting up with anymore. Okay, and this is something that you will be walking away from. Okay. I feel like you have been hoping that things will change. But it's like no change has been made. I feel like you feeling like this person has been playing with you. Playing with your emotions. For far way too long I'm hearing. And now, you're about to step into your power. You're about to take your power back. And you're about to make this risk of to end this third party. Because ultimately, all it has been is toxic love, you know. I feel like this person have wanted to have their cake and eat it too, you know. There's also somebody very stubborn. I feel like, why am I saying stubborn? I feel like this person has been stubborn and I feel it's a masculine energy. They have been stubborn in the past. But I feel like they're ready to face the unknown. Okay. Because they don't know, quote unquote, what that third party is. Okay. What that unknown is. And they're about to do it. There's a progress being made. There's a risk being taken. Because there's a need to end some fear, some toxicity. Okay. Okay. Now, everybody, remember, not every single message will apply to you. Okay, so just please take what resonates. I'm just channeling and I'm looking at the board and yeah, I'm just going with the flow. I'm also hearing um, for someone, it's like you have been searching for victory in love in the wrong places, okay, with the wrong people. And I feel like you're done, you know, you have been entertaining this situation or these people for way too long. And it's like, you're done. I don't want toxic love in my life anymore, you know. I don't want to be entertaining toxic people. I don't want to be receiving attention from toxic individuals. I'm done with that. It's like I feel you're putting your foot down and saying no more. You know, this is also what the stubborn energy is all about. It's like you're stepping into your masculine energy, to your authoritative energy and saying no more. I'm done. I'm picking up strong emperor energy from these three rocks, to be honest, okay? Yeah, an emperor takes charge, right? Emperor takes charge. Emperor is an authority figure who, who is overcoming, you know, the fear. Who has to overcome the, the fear because he's at the top. He has no other choice but to do that. He needs to take risks. He, he needs to make decisions necessary. You know, in order to change the lives of others, but not only that, to change their life, their own life, you know. Wow. All right, everybody. So, this is what's happening. 
whether that's you or that's somebody else but we have an energy of somebody here who's stepping into the emperor energy who's stepping into the power who's <laughs> overcoming their fear who's overcoming their stubbornness in the past who's overcoming the stagnation taking charge of their own life and stepping forward taking a risk in order to to change their life okay so everybody what i want you guys to do right now okay is make a choice okay not only in life but in the pile that you're about to choose okay i want to give you guys some details okay what else but if there's anything else that wants to come through for you i'm hearing for someone this is exactly what you need to do okay right now maybe you have them reluctant resistant to to making a change because staying in the current situation that you're in is comfortable you know because you got used to it I feel like for someone, this reading is actually what you need to be doing, okay? Or what you should do, okay? So, you're going to have three piles, okay? Number one, number three, and number six. One, three, six so make your selection what number you want to choose one three or six or or all of them or both i don't know <laughs> some of you guys um want to choose more than one no perfectly that's perfectly fine one three six okay so for those of you guys who have selected number one let's see For number one, master, discipline. Yes, is this energy of stepping into your power is beginning the is becoming the master of your life. Some of you guys will be literally disciplining, okay, yourself in order to make that change happen for you. You know, you see the number nine. And by the way, we're just almost entering the 999 portal. So I'm not surprised of seeing number 9 here. Okay. I feel like, yes, I feel like you are becoming the master. I feel like you're going to be disciplining yourself, working hard on yourself in order to make this change happen for you. Okay. You might be learning a new skill training okay in some sort of a way but you have a master in your energy okay you might be into martial arts wow there's a lot of blue wow and we have the sapphire here i mean look at your at your dice look at the color of this man's shirt and look at the sapphire a jewel it's like, I feel for you guys, it's like you're getting the control. You're about to gain the control of your own mind, okay? Of your own thoughts. You're becoming the master of your own thoughts, I'm hearing, okay? I feel like you're not going to be allowing your mind to control you. You will be controlling your mind, okay? You have a brand new beginning coming in. Because it's like you want to change your life. We jump from number nine to number one. Okay. That's progression. That's moving forward. Ending something where the mind was actually taking control of you. And you're stepping into this emperor energy saying, I don't want my mind to take control of me anymore. I want to be the one taking control of the mind, not vice versa. This is really what I'm picking up for you so far, okay?
I feel like you may have received some sort of an insight, some sort of a knowledge from spirit. Okay. I feel like your third eye is really open and I'm I'm looking if there's something about color blue, you may like color blue. But there's again something about the mind. Mastering your own mind. That's really what it's all about. You may own a sapphire. You may own jewel, many jewelry. Okay, we see the pearl and we see the sa sapphire. Okay, you are the jewel. Okay. And I feel you're about to realize that. That you are precious. That you are a jewel. That you are worthy. That you are priceless. Okay. But there's something about jewelry. There's something about jewelry. You may own um, special jewelry that you're valuing a lot. Okay. That brings a lot of value to you. But I feel like with the pearl being here, you are about to see things clearly. Okay. And this is the energy with the masculine as well. As the ma masculine is a sun energy. It brings enlightenment. It brings clarity and I feel like if you haven't already been in that energy I feel like you are about to I feel like you are about to see yourself you're about to gain the clarity about yourself and about your mind okay it's like you're seeing things clearly I mean if you look at it from a certain perspective this this pearl looks like an eye okay you are being, you are seeing yourself as the master of your own life or about to, you know. I feel like in the past, you have allowed other people, thoughts, situations to take control of your life. I feel like you are flipping the coin. You're flipping the coin and you're taking charge of your own mind, of your own life. I feel this is what you want. And this is what you're going to go after. Okay. Because you're seeing things clearly. You understand why your life has been a certain way. I feel your eyes have been shut in the past. But now they are open. Now you see your value. You see what you're bringing to the table. You recognize that you are this jewel. That you are the master. Of your own life, you know. That's that's what it comes down to, you know. Now, when it comes to your love life, I feel you have someone here, okay, who has gained the power, the strength to approach you. I feel like this is a master of many skills. This person has learned many skills. This person knows many skills. Okay. This person is seeing you as the jewel. Okay. This person is finally seeing. I feel like they have been blinded in the past. But it's like their eye is now open. Okay. They are seeing you as this jewel. And I feel they're about to communicate. Because again, I'm, I'm looking at the blue color. Okay. In my diffuser. Look at this blue color. And again, I'm being drawn to the color blue. You're about to receive communication from this individual. Okay. It's like they want to stay afresh. You have two number ones. You have two beginnings. Okay. You might be a Virgo. You might be a Gemini. You might be Pisces. Or you might be embodying energy of one of those signs. Or all of them. You know. But this is really, um, this is really what's happening. Okay, so get ready, get ready, get ready, number one, 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 okay, look at that angel number because I feel like there's a message in that angel number for you, one, 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 because you chose number one and we have two number ones on the board for you, so one, 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 okay, thank you, pile number one, now let's look at number three for those of you guys who have selected number three okay 
prepared for number three. Number three. Wow. <laughs> Expect a sh something shocking. A change. There's a there's a tower coming into your life, okay, that's going to bring the change, okay? <laughs> I'm hearing spirits saying enough is enough, okay? You have been stuck in a situation um, where change needs to happen. And I feel like this change is going to come because spirit is bringing this change on, on you, okay? That's what I feel is happening. But there's a thunderstorm, there's a tower coming, there's a tower approaching, okay? That's going to bring change in your life because you have been stuck in the same place for far too long. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Many options. <laughs> wow. Listen. Spring spirit is bringing change. Okay. Okay. But not only one change, a change that's going to bring many options for you, okay? You may know not convertible. Number 66 may be of significance. You might be living in the U.S., okay? You may know um, the Highway 66 in the U.S. But I feel like Spirit is bringing on this tower, this thunderstorm to your life in order for you to make or have free will. I feel like you have been stuck in a pattern and something that has prevented you or it's like you have felt that you have no free will. Okay. Even though, I mean, seriously, in my opinion, that is totally, you know, not true because in any situations that we are currently facing, that we are facing, we have free will, nevertheless. But it's like we may not realize it. And I feel like this, this tower is about to happen in order for you to realize that you have a free will. Okay. That you have choices. You may have been saying, oh, Anya, I'm stuck in the situation because, you know, I don't have a choice. Well, you do, okay? And I feel like this this tower is going to make you see, it's going to make you realize that you actually have a free will, okay? Look, a risk. That's going to allow you to take a risk in order to change your life. We see the chess game, the board game, okay? Wow. I feel like whoever has chosen this pile has been dealing with a third party, okay? Now, please only take it if it resonates with you, but I feel like you are the one that has been dealing with a third party, okay? Remember in the board, when we did the board reading, I mentioned a third party, I feel like this is you. And if it, this message doesn't resonate with you, then just leave it, okay? But I feel this, this tower is coming in order for you to realize that you have a free will and that, yes, you can make a choice and that, yes, you can change your life. Okay. There's an ending coming to the third party because I'm just glancing at number 10 and we see in the number, the blue dice that fell and it's actually number three. And I'm looking at the number three um, on the card here. And I feel like an ending is coming to the third party. Okay. And we see number seven, number three, that's number 10. That's double confirmation. There's an ending coming to your life. There's a shocking ending coming to your life. And I feel like it's an ending to a past situation that you have been stuck in, that you have seen no way out of, that you have, that you felt that you had no choice but to stay in it. Okay. I feel like this is something that's ending. Okay. So please take it how it applies to your life. But I feel like this is this is 
um, what's coming. And I feel like you're going to take a chance once this power happens to make the change to your life. I feel like you're very strategic. You will be very strategic. You will be planning it. Um, but you, first of all, you will realize that you have a free will. And second of all, that you can actually change, that you can actually make a move. Okay. That you're holding the power in your hands. That you're holding the life in your own hands, you know. And I feel like it's you who's making the tower fall. Okay. You're making that decision. Yes, some sort of an epiphany tower moment will happen or has happened. But it's like it's going to be you who's going to be making the final choice to make that change, you know. I feel for a lot of you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Wow. Amazing! Second pile of the people that have chosen number three. Thank you guys so much. Now let's move on to the last pile. For those of you guys who have selected number six. Okay. You'll be seeing things clearly, okay? Or you are seeing things clearly. You will see, see things clearly of how you can grow more, how you can make more money, I'm hearing, okay? Number, number, pile three, number six. I feel like for, for you guys, the 99 portal will be of a major significance. Something is going to happen. Okay. Enlightenment and epiphany. Okay. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> We see number six and you have chosen number six. Some of you guys are bodybuilders. I feel for others of you guys, you will realize your own strength, your own power. <laughs> you will be in your, in your emperor energy. Okay. You might, I feel like some of you guys may decide to start working out. Okay. You will become more determined, more disciplined. Okay. I feel for some of you guys, it's like you have seen the first pile, and now you're in pile number three. Because we, we're seeing the same energy, determined and disciplined, and the, this is exactly the same energy that we saw in the MasterCard, okay? So I feel like, yes, I feel like you, there's something that you're doing with your body, or about to do. I feel like you're going to make a decision to change how you look, maybe, how you feel. I feel like you may decide to go to the gym, start working out, okay? It's like you're going to be exercising and improving yourself. Okay. Wow. Tools. Some of you guys, it's like you're going to be buying, you know, the gym tools, going to be working with tools. But I feel like you're going to be working on yourself. You're, I feel like some of you guys, like you're going to decide to fix something within yourself or in your life. I feel like you're going to become more organized, okay? You're going to have the tools that you need in order to make that move, in order to make that change in your life, okay? You're going to take that leap of faith. You're going to make that change even though you may feel like, oh, you might be in denial. You may feel like, oh, it's not going to happen, you know? But I feel you're going to do it anyways because you have the strength and the willpower to make that change. You have the tools. You're very determined, practical. Wow. <laughs> Whom do we have here? Person of fire. So you might be a fire sign. Aries Leo or Sag. Wow. 
It's like you're embodying this fiery energy. We see the strength, power, see the fire. You might be a Leo, you know. I feel like this is the energy that you'll be embodying. You're going to be, literally take the charge of your own life and go after it, you know. Now, as far as your love life, you have somebody here who's a leader. I feel like it's the king of wands energy. Might be very good looking. Um, person may like to wear suits. Um, this person is a magician. This person is a charmer. Okay. That much I can tell you. This person is a charmer. They may like to work with tools. They may like to work out. Okay. But you have someone in your energy who wants to build something, who wants to work with you, um, who is, you have, you have an emperor energy, okay? Who wants to build, who, who, who has the power and the strength to finally approach you, okay? It's like this person is, has a vision, this person has a prototype of how they see things with you, where they seeing how they're seeing their future, but it's like they're fi they're taking finally grabbing their tools, taking charge of their life, make taking that risk, taking that leap in order to build the final product. Okay. They're they're willing to put the work in. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. They want to put the work in. To make the situation work. And I feel if it's not. If you're not interested in love. Then I feel like this is you. You're having the tools. You're putting the work in to make something finally work. In order to change your life. Okay. It's like you're becoming the leader of your own life, okay? You have the strong will, the courage, the determination, the strength, the power, and the tools. It's like, I mean, you have everything, okay? Not only the will, the willpower, but also the tools, okay? I feel like you're going to be very successful, okay? Do not be afraid of taking that risk of making that change because I feel for a lot of you 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 will be successful I mean there's no other way of looking at it you know you will be successful so just take that risk okay wow 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 everybody thank you guys so so much for being here with me today I hope these messages resonated with you, okay? Um, whew. Yes, it's like you're seeing things clearly, you know? <laughs> now I know, now I understand. Um, thank you, guys. I'm wishing you guys a happy, happy weekend, okay? Where I'm at, it's currently raining, so you might be, um, you know... You might not be so happy, okay? Um, but either the neither the way, it's how you know, it's how you look at things, you know, that make the world a better place. It's how you look at things um, that make your life better, you know. Even though it might be raining outside, but it's like if you're smiling inside, if if you know, if you're ra radiating that happiness. That's what's actually, this is actually um, how you, you know, will feel and how you will continue to feel and how you will, you know, spread the energy to others. Okay. Wow. All right, everybody. I'm sending you guys peace, love and abundance. All the best, health and wealth. And I'm going to talk to you guys very soon. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. And again, I'm wishing you guys a happy weekend. Stay positive, fill your cup, okay, with happiness, okay. Do whatever it takes to 
not be blue, okay? <laughs> but to be sunny, you know. Stand in your emperor power, in your empress power. Okay. Because you can do it. All right? Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Take care.